Now for the bonus segment of my birth. Oh shoot! I said it again. Bonus segment of my birthday special for Aubrey. And the game is America's favorite quiz show, Jeopardy for the Nintendo Wii. Now my run for this game is over, but nonetheless, let's see if I can win all three nice amount of money on this. Here we go. This is Jeopardy! Johnny Gilbert, how is everyone today? Here we go, fine. Jeopardy round. The Jeopardy round is where we start the off, and the categories the are... are Canada, Mexico, or the United States? Judy. Classical composers. Everyday Italian. Hmm. South Korea. And the Animal Kingdom. Italian 200. Player one. Oh. Formaggio. Is this dairy product? What is cheese? Yes, player one. Use the Wii remote or press the corresponding direction on the yeah! right you are. Italian 400. You get to pick again. This food staple is pane. Player one. What is bread? Woo! That's it. Italian 600. Player one. This body part is il piede. Let's hear it, player one. What is the head? Okay, player three. No. That's the foot. Anyone else want to hazard oh, a guess shoot. on this? Uh, player two. Whoopsie! That <laughs> is correct. Please pick again, player two. Italian 800. This quadruped is un cavallo. Yes, player one. What is horse? There we go. Italian for thousand. Player one. This day of the week is Martedì. What is Tuesday? Let's hear it, player one. Yes. Player one, you pick again, please. The largest in area. Okay, player two. United States. No, no, no. Anyone else care to try to come up with a correct response? It's player Could be one. My country, Canada. Hey, yes. Way. Okay, same category for four. We return to you. It's ninety percent Catholic. Here's the response we were looking for. Mexico. Mexico. Choose again, player one. The most populous. Player two. Canada? Nope. Oh, sorry. Anyone else want to hazard a guess on this? Let's hear That's it, player United one. That's the United States. Right. right. I'm the only one with money right player now. One, back. It has two official languages. What is Canada? Yes, player one. <clears throat> Good. 
Let's finish that one Select up. again. Ruled by an emperor from 1864 to 1867. What is okay, Mexico? Okay, player one. All right. Up to 4,400. You get to pick again, player one. In 1762, this six-year-old and his sister performed for Empress Maria Teresa. It's player one. Who's Mozart? Yeah. That's right. Way to go. Composers for 400. You again, years. player one. For several years, his friend <coughs> was one of the few people who knew about his increasing <coughs> deafness. Player one. Who is Beethoven? Yeah, that's correct. Composers for six. Choose again, player During one. During his lifetime, Johann Sebastian Bach was best known as a master of this instrument. It's player one. What is... Piano? Ooh. Sorry. Oh, shoot. That's wrong. Oh, I started to go over to Oregon. Oh, I hope I didn't kick my. <clears throat> oh. Yes. Please don't tell me I screwed myself over. I did screw myself over. Player three, pick again. Composers for eight hundred. He composed the Four Seasons. Eight hundred twenty-three. <clears throat> Here's the correct response. Antonio Vivaldi. Vivaldi. Okay. Player three, back to you. Composers for a thousand. On March 3rd, 1875, his Carmen premiered in Paris, and he was decorated with the French Legion of Honor. Okay, player one. Who is... Do you see? Oh, oh no! Oh. I'm down to 3,400. Oh. Let's hear it, player three. Oh. Oh. Cini, no. Anyone else care to try to come up with a correct response? Player two. George Bisset. Great, you're back in there. Oh. Player two, back to Not you. run a single uh, category Thompson. yet. Her losing the Oscar for 1954 when <coughs> was born was called the biggest robbery since Brinks. Let's hear it, player one. Who's this, Judy Garland? <laughs> Judy for four. Player one. As Judy, this 1980 title character, Goldie Hawn said, and I mean, look at this place. The army couldn't afford drapes? Yes, player one. It was Private Benjamin? Yep. Judy for 600. Select again. Judy Reyes staffed Sacred Heart Hospital as nurse Carla Espinosa on this Zach Braff sitcom. Okay, player one. What is Scrubs? Yeah. That's correct. 800. Please pick again. From 1984 to 1992, Judith Light and this live-in housekeeper struggled over the question, who's the boss? Who's Tony Danza? It's player one. Yeah. Good. A thousand, please. We return to you. She hit the top 40 in both 1975 and 1977 with Send in the Clowns. Okay, player one. Who's Judy Collins? Yes. There we go, I finally ran one. Select again. Animal Kingdom 200. These animals of the order Chiroptera are the only mammals that can truly fly. It's player one. Or bats. Good. Animal Kingdom 400, please. Player one. This feisty tire <coughs> blows sticky bubbles to make a nest, <coughs> then puts the eggs in its mouth and blows them in the nest. Player one. What is the fighting fish? Oh. You are correct. Six hundred, please. please. Again, player oh. Muskrats and wood rats belong to this order of mammals. Yes, player one. What is marsupial? Oh. No. Oh, 
Rodentia crap. Anyone else? Oh. The correct response is Rodentia. Ugh, oh, darn it. Animal Kingdom 800. Layer one, back to you. Here's Kelly with the clue. If you see one of these under the sea, look, but don't touch. The spines can be poisonous. Let's hear it, player one. What is animal? Oh, wrong. Oh. <clears throat> Down to 5,600. Hmm. Here's what we wanted. The sea urchin. Oh. A thousand, please. You again, player one. Yeah. Answer. It's the Daily Double. You are in first place. What are you going to wait for? Answer. Fruit and lizards, yum, are favorite foods of the Kowati, also known by this longer name. What is Kotinundi? Congratulations, yes. you're still in first, player one. Up to ten thousand dollars. Choose again, player Seth one. Ridgeland. With more than ten million people, it's the largest city in South Korea. Player one. What is Seoul? Ah! Right. Player one. Back. The twelfth century book Sanguk Sagi recounts the time when this religion came to Korea from India. What is Buddhism? Let's hear it, player one. You got it. 600, please. You get to pick again. At the 2008 Summer Olympics, South Korea's Cha Dong Min won the heavyweight gold medal in this national sport. Yes, player one. What is Taekwondo? That's correct. 800? Player one. This medicinal herb of the genus Panax is native to Korea. Okay, player one. What is ginseng? That's correct. Last clue for thousand dollars. Here's the thousand dollar clue for you. MacArthur thought the battle for this port would end the Korean War. Didn't work out that way. <clears throat> it's player three. Dejo. Sorry, that's one. It's fifty-fifty. Anyone else care to try to so come I'll up try. with a correct response? Yes, player one. Longju? No. Wrong. In Chan. Anyone else want to hazard a guess on this? Okay, player two. Good. So at the end of the Jeopardy round, I have 11,000 feet and 1,500. Samuel joins the 2,000. Samuel will first in the double Jeopardy round. Let's see what happens in Double Jeopardy with these categories awaiting the players. L.A. Story. L.A. Story. Science Grab Bag. Not Science nominated for Best Picture. Oh, Asian Best History. Picture. Asian History. Nasal Passages. Nasal Passages and, and The Meaning, the of, meaning the of the Prefix. Okay. Let's get back into this now. You have control of the board. And there in the wood a piggy wig stood with a ring at the end of his nose in the poem about this bird and a feline. Let's hear it, player one. What is, I mean, who is Robin? No, nope. no, that's wrong. Anyone else care to try to come up with a correct response? We're talking about owl. Owl, oh, okay. We return to you, player three. Truly, that nose is the glorious cross he bears, is said of this romantic Rostan hero. It's player one. Who is Zorro? <coughs> oh. No! I'm down to 98. Any other takers? Oh, these are tough clues. Mm. Player two. Robin Hood. That's oh, not no, it. that's not right. Anyone else want to hazard a guess on this? 
It's player three. Cyrano de Bergerac. Player three. Pick again. 1,200. To see what is in front of one's nose needs a constant struggle, wrote this man in 1946, not in 1984. Player one. Who's Orwell? There we go. Finally, I got one. We return to you, Hemi. Okay, player one. Hemi. What is half? Good. Okay, meaning the prefix for 800, please. Player one, die, as in dicephalus. Yes, player one. What's two? Oh, you're right. Prefix for 1200, please. You get to pick again. Contra. Let's hear it, player one. What is through? Oh. That's incorrect. Anyone else? Here's what we were looking for. Against. Oh. Prefix for 1600, please? Select again. Anti. Okay, player one. Um, what is... During? No, what is before? Yeah. There we go. Prefix for 2000, You please? again, player oh, one. Circum. Let's hear it, player one. What is... Round? That's right. We got it. Up to 14,600. Player one. Back. Bogey and Hepburn floated across the screen in this 1951 film that pleased audiences and critics, but not the Academy. Yes, player one. What is the African Queen? <laughs> yes. Choose again, player you one. You couldn't drag a Best Picture nomination out of the Academy for this 1959 Billy Wilder mm. film. Well, nobody's perfect. It's player one. What is some like it hot? Right you are. Please pick again, player well, the one. The Academy must have been out to lunch not nominating this 1961 Audrey Hepburn George Pippard film. Player one? Was breakfast the Tiffany's? Yeah. That is correct. Player one? Nice you pick again. Lightly was her slender nose tip tilted like the petal of a flower. This lord wrote in Idols of the King. <clears throat> Here's the correct response Lord Tennyson. Player one, back. There's one of the daily doubles. Yeah! Answer. The first of the daily doubles. And you have the lead. Is that your way? I'll go 3,000. Answer this. A Pascal Pensee. If the nose of this queen had been shorter, the whole face of the world would have been changed. Who is Cleopatra? That would you even think. I got it. That takes me to 20,000. Player one, back. And there's the other daily double. Yeah. And sir, the second daily double. You are in the lead right now. Give us a wave, player one. And I'll go for the half. daily double clue. In 1954, this Jimmy Stewart and Grace Kelly starer from Alfred Hitchcock didn't get a second glance. What is. Psycho? Even so, Wrong. still in the lead. Here's the response we were looking for. Rear, Rear window. window. Oh, so, ne so I've lost half my money. Choose again, player one. Driving Miss Daisy won for 1989, the year this Spike Lee film about urban racism was passed over. Let's well, do the right thing. Okay, player one. You are correct. I wish that would have been the Daily Double. Player one. You pick. Sam the Eagle was created by the Disney Company for this event held in Los Angeles in 1984. Let's hear it, player one. What is the Olympics? Right. 
You again, player one. Microphones, TV sets, masks, phonographs, and movie cameras symbolize Star's specialties on its walk of fame. Player one. You get to pick again. This school is the oldest private university in California and the largest private employer in Los Angeles. It's player one. It was Caltech. Oh, Sorry. No. Anyone else care <coughs> to come up with the correct response? <clears throat> yes, player three. USC? Yes. That's hey, it. Hey, you're on the plus side. Player three, pick again. An observatory and a park in Los Angeles are named not for a birth of a nation director, but rather a colonel with this surname. Okay, player one. Carfer? Oh, no. No. Uh, Griffith. Any other probably. takers? Here's what we were looking for. Griffith. Yeah. Select again. 2000, L.A. story. Docents at L.A.'s Page Museum are in a sticky situation. La Brea means this substance in Spanish. Yes, player one. Was tar. Yeah, good. We return to you, player well, these one. These cells from human embryos can grow into any type of tissue and may someday cure diabetes and Alzheimer's. It's player one. Uh, what are sickle cells? Oh. No, sorry. Anyone else? Here's the correct response. Stem cells. Please pick again, player one. Jupiter, Saturn, and Uranus are called this type of planet after a Roman god. Player one. Yep. <laughs> player one. A material called URHGE can be manipulated into being a resistance-free super this. Let's hear it, player one. Good for you. We return to you. We're not faking. Alphabetically, it's last among the elements on the periodic table. Yes, player one. It was zirconium. Correct. Thanks, grab back 2000. Select again. Here's Kelly. The two main kinds of lens are diverging and this type that bends rays of light inward <coughs> at the focal point. <coughs> Okay, player one. What uh, is converging? You got it. <laughs> player one, you pick it. Here's Kelly to start us off. These nomadic horsemen who overran most of Asia in the Middle Ages lived in portable lattice tents known as yurts. Player one. Who are Mongols? Right. Asian history for 1600, please. Please pick again. In 1782, when Chao Praya Chakri became King Rama I, he moved his capital across the river to this city. Let's hear it, player one. It was Bangkok. Correct. 1200. Player one, back in 1739, the peacock throne built for Mughal Emperor Shah Jahan was stolen by these people. It's player one. Whoa. Persians? Good. 800, please. Choose again. Player In December one. of 1946, he attacked the French at Tonkin, beginning a war that ended eight years later. Yes, player one. Who's Ho Chi Minh? Yes. Okay, last clue for 400. And we'll wrap up the board with this clue.
In the 1920s, the Kemalists opposed the Sultan in this country and eventually prevailed. Okay, layer one. What is... Syria? Oh. Wrong. That's incorrect. Anyone else want to hazard a guess on this? Sam wants to try it, and if he gets this wrong, he won't be around. He says Turkey, <laughs> and that's the correct response. <clears throat> so, 22,800 for me, 1,000 for Katie, Samuel, we'll put 400 for Samuel, and this so much final Jeopardy category for the three of us. Final Jeopardy category, which today is geometry. geometry. What are you going to wait for? Okay, I think I'm going to try 17,200. Each direction on the plus control pad represents a different response. Press a direction to select an answer. And the clue reads, it's an ellipse with an eccentricity of zero. What is a circle? What did you say? Samuel said circle. With that correct And he is correct. <laughs> you will gain. Had $400 to bet, and he risked all of it, so that doubles his score to $800. let us go to the middle now. At did TV. you had $1,000 for her answer. What is a circle? We know that that's correct. And Yay. that correct response <laughs> we add. And she risked nothing. So she stays at 1000 And your response? Circle. And this correct response will add how much to your score? So I add $17,200 for a total of $40,000. And that is how much Aubrey will get from the so scheme of Jeopardy for the Nintendo Wii. So long. Stop it here. I'll see you all for another video.